My name is Nicole Carson Bonilla, and I'm a portrait photographer and graphic designer. I've had the privilege of serving on the Volunteer Advisory Committee at the John Vulcan Academy Ranch since it was purchased back in 2012. My purpose for photographing this calendar is to help the students improve their self-confidence and perception of themselves. In this video, you'll learn more about the devastating effects of addiction on self-image, but then you will also see how this incredible program is changing lives all on a beautiful 40-acre ranch nestled under Santan Mountain in Gilbert, Arizona. We go through a time where our self-esteem kind of suffers or we're making choices that we're not proud of. Our self-image really takes a hit as well. And sometimes it's hard to even look in the mirror. And that can also make it very difficult to allow ourselves to be photographed or allow ourselves to be seen. When I was at my lowest point in my addiction, I felt like there was no coming back. There was no hope. I feel like I let everybody down and I, I didn't have very much confidence, even less than I had in the first place. You know, I felt a feeling of emptiness and complete sadness and depression. You know, I was unable to find a way out from the way I was feeling and I desperately wanted to get some help and I didn't know what that looked like. I felt very lost and alone and like I was beyond any help. I felt like I wasn't worth it. And so I just kept on digging my hole deeper. Externally, I still had what most people would define as some level of success, but internally, I was just completely shattered. When I looked in the mirror, I felt horrified at the person I had become. I could just see how sad I was. And I, I didn't have the brightness that I normally had. Couldn't even recognize myself. I had forgotten who I was, who Ryan was. I would avoid looking in the mirror at all costs. I didn't like feeling that I was the person I became. You know, I kept my, my shaving razor in the shower at certain points because I just couldn't stand to look at myself in the mirror. So it was just, it was not a good feeling at all. In, in the past nine months that I've been here on the ranch, I've regained self-confidence. Uh, physically stronger, just being in the gym, eating healthy has brought the light back into my eyes. I really enjoyed the photo shoot actually. Just doing the different shots and, and having fun with it. Since being here at the John Wilkin Academy, I've had the opportunity to rediscover who I am again and rebuild that self-confidence that I lost over time. By being able to do that, I've been able to serve other people as well as serve myself. My experience during the calendar shoot, it made me feel like I was a cowboy. I really felt in my element, but also out of my element by being, you know, in a steer field on top of a horse and, you know, taking pictures and just being myself. I, I don't like taking pictures a lot like most people, um, so I didn't think I was going to end up looking very good in it. I was a little bit surprised. I thought I looked better than I was going to. Um, and I just noticed the light in my eyes again and how happy I am becoming here. My time in the program here has really helped boost my confidence and it's helped me feel just more comfortable in my skin and it's given me the, you know, the confidence and the structure that I need to know that I can live a sober and happy life and I don't need substances to be the best me. Now when I look in the mirror, I like the person that's looking back at me for once and I don't mind standing in the mirror doing my hair and makeup and realizing that that is who I want to be. Being at the ranch has helped a lot with becoming more comfortable with myself, just with hard work and being able to exercise more and being pushed to exercise more. Uh, during the calendar photo shoots, I was excited. I was excited to show people who I am now and all the progress that I've made. The photo shoot was easy for me. I enjoyed the time that I spent with my friends and other students along this journey. I really struggled with consistency. You know, I would do really, really great for a short period of time and have a lot of success, but I could never seem to maintain that over any extended period. So I think here in the program, 
you know, having a routine and a discipline that you stick to every day is, is very, very helpful for me. Doing the photo shoot for the calendar was a good experience for me. It was good to see, I guess, where I'm at now versus where I was at six months ago because, you know, when you're in the pits of addiction, um, camera or no camera, you just don't feel that great about yourself. Uh, now when I look in the mirror, I mean, I feel great. You know, I'm happy with the person that's staring back at me. I know that, you know, I'm putting my best foot forward in life. It's not necessarily being, it's not necessarily easy being here in the program, but you know, it, it is worth it. There's something to be said about um, being in an environment where um, it's very, very positive, but it can also be difficult, you know, and I think doing difficult things really enhances uh, self-esteem and self-confidence. Now when I look in the mirror, um, I, I see the happiness and how I'm changing and becoming who I want to be and who I used to be. I've never seen myself in a better light than I do here at the John Logan Academy. A picture is worth a gazillion words, we all know that. It's the light that's in your eyes that shows what happens here at the ranch, far more effective than any words could ever speak. It's in your eyes, it's in your faces, it's in your color, it's in your vibrance. My birthday too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. I think you guys are July. Love it! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, am I Mr. April? I knew it. Oh. <laughs> you want my autograph? Just let me know. If you would like to get a copy of this calendar, please contact the ranch store at the phone number listed below. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, please don't give up. Reach out. You can call this phone number or visit this website.